I am? Zero! Hello and welcome back to more Fallout 4 Settlement Builds. Now today I want to show you my Red Rocket truck stop. I didn't give this settlement too much attention at the beginning of the game, but now I've made some improvements because this particular settlement gets attacked more often than any other settlement I own. And I don't understand why, because it has possibly the highest defense compared to the rest of my settlements. But here we are. Here is my Red Rocket Truck Stop. There we go. As I do with all my settlements, I make a full wall surrounding it to protect it. Got some nice rocket turrets to defend myself. And a nice little one here as well. So I've gone beyond the bounds of the settlement. Just so I can basically plant more turrets. As you know, this settlement isn't... It's not a big one. It's very limited in size. And there's not a lot you can do with it. But I did what I could. And... Oh. That's new. So we got a rad scorpion here. You see what I mean? This settlement gets attacked so often. I don't understand. I planted turret after turret. And yet, it won't stop. It's weird. Anyway, let's go through the front gate. And I'll show you the inside of what I've done. Let's go. There's McCready, staying out my way. I tried to do like an inner wall as well, to try to give that sense of additional protection. We're here, got the main segment, nice little marketplace, got a bar. Got work to do, can't talk now. And over here, my power generator, power armor, not a lot going on here, really. The floor's not quite complete. I kind of, well, got bored. Over here, just the basics. Got a nice little kitchen set. Nice little place for two people to sleep. Nice little yeah. mole rat ornaments. You know, when you get this settlement for the first time, there's quite a mole rat infestation, so... Got their heads uh, on the walls as trophies. Don't Got my crops. That place is nothing but trouble. Mm, does me well. Nice stuff there. Got a nice little hut. Yeah. So, oh, God's sake, these settlers don't shut up. Anyway, nice little hut for two people. Just the basics right now. Nothing much going on there. And we've got this little yes. marketplace over here. For general goods, an armor makes it look. I think it looks pretty nice. Farming's as honest as honest work gets. That's true, but you're not a farmer. You supply armor. I've also made a walkway at the top of this just to make my travel between that and the top of this structure a little bit easier. Got a little entrance there for the back. Now this is pretty basic right now. I'm, I am going to change this, but this is just mostly here. So most of my settlers have a place to sleep. Just because I mainly focus on Vault 88 at the moment. So I don't do a lot to the rest of my settle, uh, settlements that often. Got a Brahmin, which is nice. Another piece of power armor. Missing the leg pieces at the moment. This little thing, nothing much. Just a nice little structure to house my weapons workbench and to plot a turret on it. Because again, it's just trying to make use with what space you've got. It's, it is difficult. This little hut. Nice little vantage point. Another turret. Because the... The bad guys tend to spawn in that 
direction over there. Next to my guard tower. Now, I am going to change that because I'm not quite happy with the way it's turned out. But at the time, I just wanted to get some more turrets here because I, mean, I was just getting so tired of this settlement getting attacked nearly every time I log into this game. It's insane. Nice little clothing place. One of them synths here to spy on me. I am not. Not much, really. She's out of the rain. So, I do plan to build like a structure around it. I'll get to it eventually. Nice sort of place to eat. Crops coming in pretty good. They better do. That's what you're hired to do. And again, nice little a nice little vantage point. And that's about it apart from the tower over there. Going to get past you. It's pretty well secure. Oh. It's got no power. Got to fix that later. Again, this is just me trying to build some more structures. Make it look a little bit more lived in. Little space here. Don't know what to do with it. Going to go up high. Again, more turrets up top. And we got, you gotta take things one day at a time. got one settler on guard duty overseeing Sanctuary Hills. And there we are. Not a lot to show you for this settlement. Again, it's quite small. You can't really do a lot. But I like the way it's turned out. We've got a full wall all around it to protect my settlers. Gonna close you. Now, while we're here, I want to show you Sanctuary Hills as well because I have made some small improvements to it since the last time I showed you my settlement. Now, there is a glitch at the moment where my provisioners or my robots keep losing all their armor. Identity confirmed. And I don't know what's going on. It might be a mod that's conflicting with the game, but it's no real loss to me. Most of it is pretty much the same as last time. Nice little structures. Everything is clean. All looking nice. The main difference I made is in the far corner at the very end, where you see that big tree. Let's take a look. At least it's not raining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's that. Is this little structure here? Now I'm quite proud of this. This is this makes it a very easy way to get all these additional stores. So my supplement is earning more money. Got a nice little bar there that everyone hangs around. Aside from the other bar here. Now, oh, what's going on here? Cotsworth, what are you doing? He's sneaking drinks. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. It's like I can finally think straight. Good for you. Now get back to work. So as I said, this one, it was a fair challenge because I'm all about accuracy and measurements. And that's what I had to do for this one. So if I go into free cam, I can show you. But actually, before we do that... Let's go inside. There's the vault tech rep. You know what? Since we talked, I'm feeling Here we are. There's the bar. Look at the two of us. And look where Here he's getting all his food. Prepared for the future. Right. Are you done? So again. Yeah. This is where he's getting all his food, per se. So a little bit shady. Got a question where you get your meat from. So let's go into free cam. There we are. Now, as you can see, I've been doing accurate measurements. So at right angles. So everything is aligned and whatnot. But the thing is, the ground is not completely flat. It does go, it does slant a little bit to the back. 
So it's not all completely level, but you got to make do with what you got. So I managed to fit around the tree. And it looks pretty nice. A nice little organized, tidy marketplace. Now, this... I can't recall if I showed you this in my last video. But this is just another extension of my farm. Just outside the barrier. Got a mongrel dog there in the distance. Shouldn't cause us any trouble. Just a nice little hut for one of my settlers. And you got this one here. A nice chemistry station. And there we are. Looking very nice indeed. There's still a lot to do for this one because this settlement is so big. It does take a long time to complete. Anything I can do? You just say the word. Nope, there's nothing you can do for me, Piper. I'm just fine on my own. But at least the full wall has been completed. Oh my god, that took so long. <laughs> but there we are. There's Red Rocket Truck Stop and Sanctuary Hills updated. Well guys, I really hope you all enjoyed my video. Uh, please subscribe and support my channel. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!